This is Match Game 74, production number 0271, and it's take one, and we need a little more, Dave. Get ready to match the star. Orson Bean. Brett Summers. Charles Nelson Riley. Dr. Joyce Brothers. Richard Dawson. And Betty White. As we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 74. And now, here's the star of Match Game 74, Gene Rivers. Thank you. Hi. You seems like I was back there forever, waiting to come out here. What the heck was going on out here? Hello there. Yeah, well, welcome anyway. Johnny Olson, how are you? Beautiful. Yeah, you are beautiful. And you're beautiful. You know that I told you you're well enough to sit up on the couch. You don't have to lie down oh, anymore. Oh, sorry, doctor. I thought lying down, you got more done that way, don't you? <laughs> Possibly <laughs> in your life. Shall we welcome the new kid on the block, Joyce Brothers? Welcome, Yay! Joyce Brothers. You know the only old kids? Right? I already have a go at it? I got some of my weirder dreams saved up for her to analyze. Oh, terrific. There's one about you and a big hairy marshmallow. I can't wait to tell That's enough. Oh, I don't want to hear any more about that. <laughs> <laughs> I see you're wearing another wig. Yes. You I wasn't smart enough the other day, and I thought this would make me cleverer. Okay. And I'm going to be very normal this week because of you know who. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want her to get the drop on me. Time will tell. Let's welcome our two players here, Dee Davenport and Terry Montgomery. How are you? Fine, thank you. This uh, lady here, wearing the sailor suit, has a total of $9,650. That's a very attractive outfit, Dee. Thank you very much. Yes, and uh, she's happy about that money, and she's being <laughs> challenged by Terry Montgomery, who at the moment is leading one to nothing. How are you, you today? <laughs> I'm a uh, fine. I'm a sailor suit guy. <laughs> <laughs> what? Have another beer, huh? No. <laughs> it's the sailor suit that threw me a little bit there. Because <laughs> she's so normal, and to see her in a man's sailor suit is a little well, never Gets mind. Gets you very excited. That. That's right. <laughs> I, <laughs> we got a little business to what do with you, and then we're going to do a little business with them there, all right? <laughs> reveal our second and final round questions and ask our challenger, Terry, to make a selection. I'll take B. B. <coughs> Last time around, um, who, the Orson <laughs> position was matched, so you do How not play. How about that? I'm, I, mean, I can't write because the other guy was... That's right. Don't raise your voice. The doctor is here. Oh, <laughs> you must be very careful yes. today. No, you do not participate. It's not fair, Joyce. Yes, it? it is fair. Not fair. It's fair. <laughs> the, my doctor says it isn't fair. Snow, <laughs> Snow White. Oh, I'm good at Snow White questions. No, that's all right. Uh, you can write and show it to me, and you oh. and I will play a little game. Snow White was, <laughs> was really a rotten person, oh. if you want to know the truth. She blackmailed the seven dwarfs with a Polaroid picture of them blanking in the woods. <laughs> It says here, Terry, Snow White was really a rotten person. She blackmailed the seven dwarfs with a Polaroid picture of them blanking in the woods. You think about that? While the weirdos are writing their answers here. Listen, weirdo, you better start writing. <laughs> I think of that, don't live. Just think of these seven little... Uh, 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 the, <laughs> the doctor, what does the doctor say? You're making a pass at me and in front of the doctor. You the doctor's turn That's now. right, it's the doctor's <laughs> turn now. Let her make... That's not wrong if I'm attracted to him as a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Charles, we're doing not, we're doing a whole Fauteville act here just to give you a chance to write. There we go. Charles was sweeping upstairs before the show. That's nice. We like a neat stage. Okay, Terry Montgomery. <laughs> Snow White was really a rotten person. She blackmailed the seven dwarfs with a Polaroid picture of them blanking in the woods. Tinkling in the woods? <laughs> <laughs> oh, rolling. <laughs> what 
What's your second answer, Terry? <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Anyway. All right. Okay, that's his answer. Just Tink tell, in the woods. Just tell Yule Gibbons to be careful like that. <laughs> <laughs> Brett, what do you say? Oh, that's right. Orson doesn't write. Okay. That's right. Of course, they weren't tinkling, my darling. They were streaking. Streaking. Very splendid answer. That's okay. the first time you've ever said that. No, that's me. really no <laughs> terrific answer. Yes, yes, sir. Really. I said kissing in the woods. Oh, really? He said that. Okay. Well, I'm nearsighted. I couldn't see them straight. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say, new kid on the block? Oh, on my square, I said working. 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 Not only is that, but you're holding it upside down, too. <laughs> what what kind well, of a dog you're working is upside she? down, that's similar to his answer there. What do you say there? Pop it in there, Doc. Right in there. <laughs> right, in there. <laughs> right in there. That's it. That's interesting the way she put that. I'm going to take those to UCLA later and run a check on them. <laughs> <laughs> Revoke your license. Uh, they were streaking the streaking. <laughs> All right. All streakling. She's doing? looking for the answer. I don't tinkling. Know, but I like it. No, they were smoking in the woods. <laughs> smoking. I had tinkling. Well, you did. They knew. Sure. A more common Anglo-Saxon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now you need one to tie. Two to win. If you win this, this will be your fifth game. Mm -hmm. Here we go. I'll drink to that. Mildred yes. got on Let's Make a Deal by shaking her blank in Monty Hall's face. <laughs> Mildred got on Let's Make a Deal by shaking her blank in Monty Hall's face. All right. I'm finished. Good girl. Now, well, let's see what we've got here. Everybody ready? Yes, yes. Okay. Now, we'll call on Dee Davenport. Mildred got on Let's Make a Deal by shaking her blank in Monty Hall's face. Her tushy. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. You don't like that answer? No! Really? Monty would have loved it, I think. <laughs> what do you say? No, Monty was standing up in front of her. It was her boobies. Oh, her boobies. Yes. What was that? Oh! Now I see what kind of an audience we've got here. She said bottom. What do you say? You want to see me do my Bee Lily imitation? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Later. All right. Uh, well, I happen to know Monty Hall's wife. Yep. And having met her, I said other end. Her other end. Your other end. Well, that's that's a match. Don't you know what somebody? This is your other end. Okay, okay, okay. I okay. mean, it's show and tell time, but let's not be ridiculous. Oh, uh, make an ass of you. So, <laughs> Charles. I said boozum. Boozum. <laughs> Joyce, one more bottom wins the game for her. I got the wrong end, just hand. Oh. Shake your hand. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, now you know why I never got on Let's Make a Deal. Okay. Where, where can I pick up a set of these dirty answers? <laughs> How do you say, Richard? It was something they all love. The old bazoom. The bazoom. That seems to be the audience's answer. All right. I'm the only one who knows that Monty is a hand man. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I don't think I'd right explore that any further there. What have you got there? I think this is a match, if I play my cards right, by shaking her maracas in his face. No. No, well, how do you know what I call my maracas? So, what we've got here is a tie. And I'll tell you what happens when we get a tie, right after I tell you about these messages, two or three. GSN presents Behind the Blank. Match game panelist Richard Dawson was born in which country? Was it Ireland, England, Australia, or New Zealand? Stay tuned for the answer. Keep watching to find out how you could save. Match game panelist Richard Dawson was born in which country? The answer is B. Richard Dawson was born in Gosport, England on November 20th, 1932. Stay tuned for more of that 70s hour on GSN. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Now, before we were interrupted, we uh, ended this game in a tie. And when that happens, we wipe the slate clean.
And we push this button and reveal two tie-breaking questions, one for each, and the one who scored the most will be the winner. Terry the Challenger makes a selection. I'll select A. A is for him. Everybody plays. Here it is. Before the royal king got into the royal pool, he dipped his royal blank in it. <laughs> Before the royal king got into the royal pool, he dipped his blank in it. His royal blank. Orson was the first. And, uh, look, Charles, Charles is finished. Charles, what happened? You finished so quickly. The doctor is here, and I'm trying to be very good. I see. What are you smoking? <laughs> okay, everybody's finished, Terry, so we ask you for a response. Before the royal king got into the royal pool, he dipped his royal blank in it. Toe in it. He dipped his royal toe in it. <laughs> the audience likes the answer toe. And now. somebody had turned the pool heater up so high that he got a royal flush. <laughs> <laughs> his royal toe. Toe. Okay, Brett. Well, now that Dr. Brothers is with us, I hope you've noticed a big change in, in me, right? Yes. I You're have. talking with well-modulated tones? Yes, and You're very no calm. cussing, and I've been That's right. wonderful. That's Haven't right. I, doctor? Yes. <laughs> Isn't it a shame about her skin? Look at all those pimples. <laughs> <laughs> he did his royal, his royal, his royal bum. His royal bum. <laughs> You see what kind of an influence you've had on her? <laughs> it's in England. <laughs> in England. It's a terrific laugh. Charles? Oh, is she a sick lady. <laughs> Toe! The royal king, before the royal king got into the royal pool, he dipped his royal blank in it. Now, what do you say, doctor? I say toe. Toe. There's three. Now, let's have a lesson in anatomy, Richard. <laughs> Well, show us yours, and I'll uh, <laughs> show you Mattel. All right. And you, madam. Uh, don't call me madam unless you mean it. <laughs> I... It's royal toe, too. Toe. I got it. That's everyone. Everyone you got a Huckleberry Dillinger. Right? That's right. <laughs> okay, so you got five like there. Now, D, you know what you have to do. You got to match five or six to win the game. Tom. Yes. Said to Dumb Dora, "Why are you shaking that live chicken?" And Dumb Dora said, "I'm trying to make it lay blank eggs." <laughs> Do you, you don't understand? Like two part questions. You don't like two part questions. Did you hear all of that? Tom said to Dumb Dora, Why are you shaking that live chicken? And Dumb Dora said, I'm trying to make it lay blank eggs. Think about it. Uh -huh. Tom is looking at this girl, Dumb Dora. You want to be Dumb Dora? Yes. Uh, and he's right. saying, What? <laughs> and he's oh, saying to her, Why are you shaking what? that live chicken? Right. And she says, I'm trying to make it lay blank egg. Oh, I get it. Oh, oh boy. boy. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, I guess... Sometimes yeah, it's I so difficult. <laughs> so difficult, I can't tell you. What's the matter with me? <laughs> All right. I look how quickly I got yeah, that. Don't take an okay. hour. Now, Dee, Tom said to Dumb Dora, why are you shaking that live chicken? And Dumb Dora said, I'm trying to make it lay blank eggs. What do you put in that blank? Golden. Golden eggs. You got a groan, a large groan from the audience, and in a moment or so you'll find out why. I hate yourself. I mean, I did it as a you know, I'm a, uh, uh, Orson. She's a very rich lady. She can afford to say golden, but I said scrambled. Scrambled. Yeah. Well, see, he's shaking this chicken. Uh, she's uh, all right, Brett. Got to match everybody. Have you ever noticed that I'm always right at the wrong moment? I have a gift for it. I finally got it and said scramble. Scramble! <laughs> scramble! Come on down, Terry. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Well, I'm sorry to see you go, Dave, but uh, I guess you're pretty happy about your experience here, aren't you? Match game has made me very, very happy. Good. Thank Aww. you. Thank you. I love Thank every you. minute. Excuse me. Say the word again. Scramble! Scramble! Oh, fantastic! fantastic.
exceedingly remembered fantastic. Okay, anyway, she left with $9,650. That money will be coming to her shortly. And we'll see how much money will be coming to you right after we talk to our friends out there. <laughs> All right, here we are with old Terry Montgomery, who's won his first game. He's got $100. And uh, he's going to have a go at over $5,000 now if he's ready. Ready? I'm ready. All right. We uh, polled a recent studio audience, and we got their best response to this. Blank limits. Uh -huh. now, the answer they gave most often is worth $500 to you if you match it, Terry. Then if you match the next one, you get $250. If you match the bottom one, you get $100. Three celebrities are allowed to help and suggest an answer. Whom do you choose? Charles. Okay, there's two zippy ones, but try off. Off limits. limits. There's one. Uh, Richard? Outer limits. Outer limits? All right, doctor. Have some antipasto. <laughs> Who else? And Orson. Well, I'd, uh, as, a, as a third choice, I'd say city limits. City limits? That's a Please, is a modicum of the people out there? You have outer limits, off limits, and city limits. You may choose one of those as your answer or give us one of your own. What would you like to do, Terry? Yeah. All try outer limits. <laughs> outer limits? Okay, that's the one he's looking for, the one Richard suggested, outer limits. We'll find out if it's up there, and if so, where. First, may we see the $100 response? Off limits is Charles' answer. You mean I finished third? Yes. You Quite finished extraordinary. third. Extraordinary. Yes. Now, we're still looking for outer limits. May we see the $250 response? City limits. Well, that's two out of three. Orson's answer has come up. Let's find out if Richard's answer comes up right now as we look up the $500 response. Outer limits. So you got the $500, that means you now play for 10 times that amount, or $5,000. To collect, however, you've got to match one celebrity head-to-head, -head and it's time to choose one. I'll try Richard. I'll okay. Try. I don't kiss right. on the first date. All right. Let's uh, face this way. I'd like them to know where they stand. Yes, right. <laughs> I want to lead them on. Here we go. Jimmy Blank. Jimmy Blank. He's finished. Now we call for a response from you, Terry, that you think will match his answer. Jimmy Stewart. Stewart, you're groaning. Don't turn on me now. You, you don't like that answer? No. no. What would you say? Jimmy Dean. Jimmy Dean. All right. He's All right. too young. For, fi for five thousand dollars, may we see your answer? He says, Jimmy Stewart. Yeah, Jimmy Dean, I'd be hustling sausages. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> it is James Stewart, you see. What I thought of was Jimmy Cagney. Jimmy Cagney. I'm sorry, Rob. Right, All right. Terry, you picked up an additional $500. You're up to $600, and you're going to meet another player. If you're ready, let's welcome Jan Shaw. I've seen your face before, and I'll tell you why. She's been on the show before, and I had a slip of the tongue, and I said an answer, and it might have been a little unfair to her, might have not have been, but we thought, just to play it safe, we'll get her back here and give her another go at it. And besides... How are you, Jan? I feel fantastic and very fortunate. All right. Nice to have you back, Jan. Good luck to you, and you as a challenger make a selection, as you know. Okay, A, I think. All right, here we go. Everybody plays. New game, folks. Brett, pay attention when the star is speaking. Oh, I'm sorry, John. <laughs> Alan Ludden said, uh -oh. Uh -oh. My wife, Betty White, doesn't know her own strength. The last time she gave me a great big hug, she broke my blank. <laughs> You've been peeking. Yes. Last time she gave me a great big hug, she broke my blank. Have you ever seen Alan Ludden, Jan? Yes, I have. <laughs> oh, really? Where? <laughs> 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 
Okay, we're all set. We'll call on Jan for her response now. Alan Ludden said my wife Betty White doesn't know her own strength. The last time she gave me a great big hug, she broke my... Glasses. My glasses. Okay. Orson, what do you say? She broke his knee. No, no, no. Uh, his glasses. His glasses. <laughs> all right. Right. That poor little devil's been taped up for months. She broke his bloody ribs. Ribs! Oh, boy, she is powerful, Charles. Two orders of ribs. Two Charles orders of ribs. Baby. Okay, Jan's looking for the answer. Glasses, and she... She steams up his glasses. She breaks his ribs. I see. Okay. She hasn't steamed up his glasses in 11 years. <laughs> El Ribo. El Ribo there. Another order of ribs, Jan. And let's... But I do steam up his ribs. Glasses. Glasses. <laughs> so that's two for you. And you've got a question coming, but first we've got this message coming, America. Pay attention now. Chess prodigy Bobby Fischer became... What camera we were coming out on, so I was a little shifty-footed there. Then. But we're ready. That was my Fred Astaire number. Listen, we got to quit now. You ready to quit? Yeah. Okay, you ready to quit? All right, you come back next time, right? You bet. Okay, score is two to nothing, and you've got a question in the first round coming up. You ready to quit for the day? Oh, yes. I have oh, something. I've got a lot of work. <laughs> oh, you do? I've something here. <laughs> You got to read that out. <clears throat> you have 45 seconds. By the time you read this, it will be time to say goodbye. <laughs> okay? All right, Gene Rayburn saying goodbye for Match Game 74. Join us next time. Everyone has something to hide. My mother still buys my clothes. But on the new game show, I've got a secret. Each guest will whisper his or her secret to me. Our panel will have no idea what it is. Nothing stays hidden for long. I've got a secret. This didn't come out of you by any chance, did it? I've got a secret. Premieres Monday, April 17th at 11.30 on GSN. GSN.